Hello, hello. Today I decided to feature a rather fun game, uh, because something quite unexpected happened during this game, something you don't really see often in random battles in this game, especially if you queue solo as I was doing in this game. I am playing the Alabama uh, Tier 8 Premium, which is very similar to the North Carolina, loses out on some concealment, some HP, some anti-air and such thing, and some accuracy, but in return it gains a better turning circle and a better torpedo belt. Ultimately though, I rate them pretty much uh, very similar, and seeing as in competitive, the North Carolina has still has been dominating most comps. Um, they are, this is a very well balanced premium, considering it's pretty much equal to the North Carolina in most ways, which I consider a pretty good thing. The ship, the, this game itself though, is obviously going to be pretty nasty. As you saw me showing the scoreboard there, um, I'm against tier 10s. Solo queuing and against tier 10s is always going to be rough, especially since they have plenty of counters to me, like Yamato, Zaos, they also have Fletchers, or a Fletcher and uh, stuff like that, so not the easiest game. Zao is trying to park behind the island, I popped a spotter plane for better vision. Uh, the thing with North Carolina and uh, Alabama shells is that they are quite slow, but in return, because they're so slow, you can arc them over various mountains and hills, which makes uh, the combination with spotter plane extremely good on maps with a lot of cover, like this one, because you can arc, you can lob the shells over hills and such, and catch people who think they are safe completely off guard. Now, looking at the positioning of my teammates, well, most worrying thing is looking at H6, we can see our Yamato is already sailing away from the battle. He's turned away completely and he's fleeing. And considering he's our only tier 10 and our tankiest biggest threat and he's already running from the battle, this is going to probably not be the easiest game. But I'm in a fairly good position. I'm harassing the cruisers trying to push into sea. And pushing into a battleship is always going to be rough. I Try to angle and make sure I don't give too much broadside to anyone, but since I want to keep my guns on target, this is going to be quite tricky. But I am a battleship, so I can absorb a few hits without too many issues. I'm trying to get behind the island, so I maybe can uh, fade into stealth in between shells, since I do use the stealth build on the ship. New Orleans makes a mistake though, he was in cover, I don't think he's expecting the shots, but my spotter plane is still active, so I can easily lob the shells over the small island he's hiding behind. You see from this point of view it looks like he's safe, but my shells easily fly over the island and catch him off guard. So he's not having, he's not having a lot of fun there, and I managed to reset the cap as well, which is of course good since we have the cap advantage so far. And he's finally given up his hiding place, trying to push out but he's not going to get out of here alive, at least not if I can do anything about it. It looks like most people are shooting him, since of course Broadside Cruiser is just asking to get killed. And I sit him and finish him off. The Benson, however, puts down a very, very nice smoke. I was absorbing a lot of hits there, but the Benson drops down a very nice smoke wall, hides not just me, but also the Turpits. He covers us both. Since we already have the cap, he doesn't really need the smoke for the capture point and in this way he allows me to deal a lot more damage. So this was a really good, really excellent smoke put in front of both of me. The Turpets doesn't really understand to use it, but I will happily park in the smoke and use, use it to the maximum capabilities. That's of course why I used the thank you bind in chat, because this is a well-placed smoke. You notice that I'm able to heal a lot of the damage I've taken, but I don't want to heal it yet, because I'm safe in a smoke. There's no worries, there's no, there's no threat. So I want to use the slightly improved reload that I have thanks to Adrenaline Rush um, as long as I possibly can before I pop that heal. And since the Turpitz is sailing around in the cap, I'm happily resetting the cap and harassing him. Once again, I want to not just deal as much damage as possible to these, but slow down their uh, progress, slow down their push, and resetting the cap is an excellent way of doing that. Our Atago sadly gets deleted by the Donskoy. But they still have not secured the cap. I'm gonna see if I can reset the Zao as well. I doubt I'll be able to do too much damage to him, but if I can reset the cap, I'll be quite happy. And I do score three hits, but Zao troll armor, three overpens only, so not much damage, but the cap is reset almost to the beginning once again. So that means they're gonna to have to waste more time in there and they have to be careful about shooting because every time they shoot, they get spotted, which allows us to reset the cap even further and so forth and so forth. 
I start angling, well, not just reversing out, but also I'm ready to move. You see, as soon as the smoke starts fading, you see the smoke bubbles are starting to fade. You can turn these circles I have, you can turn them on in your options, so you can see better when the smoke starts fading. Uh, just go to object settings and controls and you can turn on these bubbles. So as soon as I see the smoke is starting to fade, I already accelerate, I turn in towards the enemy ships and I pop my heel as well. So I saved it for as long as I possibly could and this is the time when I did it. Improvement for the Benson would be of course giving a heads up to people. My smoke is about to run out in 10 seconds. Stuff like that is really useful and something I recommend. But considering this Benson already is non-selfishly using his smoke for his teammates, he already gets my props for a job well done. And at this, they finally managed to cat, uh, get C, but they've gotten taken a lot of damage and they've been slowed down a lot. It's already seven minutes into the game and they only now have managed to secure it. Sao is angling in towards me. From this angle, it's very hard to deal damage to Zhao. Oh, and he turns slightly and dodges it as well. This is, of course, Zhao. Zhao is very nasty when he angles. It's the it has troll armor, so it's one of the few ships that are able to get away with doing stuff like that. Now I can overmatch the nose on it, but it's the problem is still that it's a tanky and very trolly ship, and the HP pool is quite misleading on the ship. Let's see if I can nail him now. I catch him during a turn. No citadels. One bounce, one pen that dealt no damage, and three over pens. That's the Zao. That's why everyone calls the Zao armor very troll, because that kind of stuff happens all the time. It is a extremely sturdy cruiser for its health pool. It's trying to focus down these fighter planes, of course. Just deny vision of me, not just me, of course, but my teammates. And I do focus fire down both of them. That's the excellent anti-air coming in and very useful since now I'm, I'm now undetected. Mogami turns away. Do I want to waste a shot at him? No, I don't bother wasting a shot. He was angled away, so it was unlikely I would be able to deal too much damage. And I prefer going undetected right now, as we are down one ship. That's very important. Not only are we down one ship, but look at the positioning of my teammates. The Des Moines, G1, with another cruiser at G1. Both of them are practically useless for the team right now. Our Yamato is also sailing around the left flank. So... Those guys can't help help us with the fight here at all. So for all uh, intents and purposes, we are quite alone here. The turret is pushing in, which you shouldn't do. That's a Donsko and Zao, two torpedo uh, cruisers. If he pushes in there, it's more than likely not only will he get melted by all the firepower, but he might also get torped. So trying to push in there is just suicidal. And at least the enemy Yamato got killed, which is good. But I don't have high hopes for our turret strike to go in there. This it just seems like a fool's choice. Donsko tries to push around the corner. I'm happily waiting for him. If he does, I'll be able to delete him quite handily. And as I was saying about pushing into torpedo cruisers, uh, the turret eats Zalatorps and gets destroyed. You don't want to push into that. that that's just suicidal. Uh, they have a good position to hold. We can't push into them, but we don't need to push into them. We have the cap advantage. Okay, we're still down one ship, but we still have the cap advantage, which means they need to come to us. This is something you need to recognize. You have two caps, enemy has one cap. The enemy, you have, uh, the ball is in the enemy's court. They are the ones who need to move. North Carolina starts pushing in. This is an issue because uh, now not only am I spotted now, but I need to angle against him, which means giving broadside to not just the turpits, but multiple other ships. So I wait out his shot. You saw I, w I stayed angled until the very second that he shot. As soon as he shot, I start turning. Because I have his entire reload time uh, worth of time to move away now. I don't want to keep pushing towards him. Because then I put myself in the crossfire, being shot by the Zao and Donsko and even being torqued by them. I want to keep, I want to turn away from them. So I, I want to be able to angle not just against this North Carolina, but against everyone. So I start sailing away. However, the same Benson pops up once again and drops an excellent smoke for me and thanks to this I am able to slow down and keep angled. I am still radar though, the Donsko is using his radar but that's perfectly fine with me. I'm not using my repair yet, I'm not using anything yet, I wait until the radar runs out before I start slowing down. I do make sure I still move a bit more in the smoke because they saw where I was with the radar, they know exactly where I am 
and uh, it's quite easy to hit the ship this big in the smoke so I make sure I angle away and shift my position just a bit so I don't get torqued or something similar but once again Benson lays down a, an excellent smoke that helps us stop and slow down this, this push significantly. This North Carolina is now in a pretty awkward position. He could mitigate it by turning in, angling towards me, because he knows I'm in the smoke. He's giving me too much broadside. But on the other hand, he's probably also afraid of all the incoming torps. Now, the only thing spotting for us right now is the Zhao. But the Zhao is giving a lot of broadside to this North Carolina, so we can only hope that he lives long enough to be able to spot for us. I lose vision, so I pop my my spotter plane to give me vision of the North Carolina, and the Zhao dies. So the only thing actually giving us vision right now is the North Carolina, since the Benson is in the smoke. But that's not really a problem as long as the spotter plane stays alive. As soon as it gets shot down, though, we are going to go completely blind, because if you look at my teammates, the Des Moines, the Rune, the Yamato, they are still horribly out of position on the map. They are three ships on the one line base. Oh yeah, they're all three ships on the one line, including two of our tier 10s. So we are, me and the Benson are basically against four ships here, which is not very nice. However, my spotter plane does spot the Zhao, giving full broadside. Any other cruiser would probably have got them deleted, but Zhao troll armor, one citadel and seven pens, as expected. But at least I do a lot of damage to him. Now my plane gets shot down though, the, it goes too close to the Zhao Antir and there's fighter planes attacking it, so now we're completely blind. But as you can see the smoke bubbles are once more fading, so it's a good time for me to start accelerating and getting out of here. I do want to see if I can get a shot off before the smoke fades now. Don't score shows himself, so I take one shot at him and then I'm going to see if I can catch anyone off guard here. And nope, the turpitz is angled towards me. As soon as I see that he's already angled towards me, I just start accelerating. I do manage to finish off the Donskoy, which, which turns it from a 2 on 4 into 2 on 3, which makes life a lot easier. But at this point, I need to stay angled against the turpitz and just straight up flee from him. Zhao is still giving too much broadside. He's relying too much on his cover, and as if, once again, Alabama can easily lob shells. You saw how easily I lob those shells over the hill. You can't really use cover like that against the North Carolina or an Alabama because of the way the shells work. I give too much broadside to the Turpets as I wanted to deal damage to him, uh, and I eat penetrations, but I'm still angled enough that they cannot get any citadels on me. The Benson instantly pops his next smoke. And I obviously want to go get into it as soon as possible, but I am getting very low here because of all the focus fire on me. Let's see if I can catch this Mogami off guard. But my dispersion is pretty horrible. Looking at the way my shells are spread out, not a single shell actually lands, so no luck there. I do get into the smoke though, I'm down to my last heal, 8000 HP, and they set the fire on me while I'm in stealth. That's of course the risk of being a battleship in smokes, you can be quite easily be stealth fired upon. I'm gonna see the next attempt at this Mogami. He's turning in, so I aim a bit lower. Dispersion doesn't seem too kind again, and two overpens as well. But I have to keep creating distance between me and the turpits because if he has... It turns out he doesn't have the spotting module, he uses stealth, but when he gets within two kilometers of me, he is going to spot me. Uh, like th that's proximity spotting range, two kilometers. So around the time that he spots me, I'm gonna see if I can finish him off as well by turning my guns his way. Benson Torps miss, and he's now spotting me, but I have his broadside, in which case I can easily, just with the back guns, I deal 12,000 damage to him. I, ha I kinda glide out of the smoke, getting into that position, so I'm forced to reverse back into the smoke. I'm down to 1,000 HP, I was forced to use my repair as well, 600 HP, and I'm reversing and trying to get into cover as quickly as I can. Zhao, one more volley at me. I'm down to 58 HP, but I'm still alive. Thanks to this amazing smoke laid by the Benson. At this point though, we are surrounded from both sides. My secondaries keep hitting the Kiev, setting him on fire. My Benson is struggling. They're trying to rush us in the smoke, trying to finish us off. And I re realize the easiest target to quickly kill here is the Mogami. Back guns, dispersion not very kind, but I get my front guns to bear and that's able to finish it off. Also secures the Kraken, and the game finally ends with us hitting 1,000 points. So to say that this was a close game, <laughs> well, uh, the Des Moines that was actually coming back from the G, the one line got killed at the end, 
but the score had already ticked over to 1k, so the game ended, which was probably, I don't know, maybe lucky, maybe not. I was extremely low on health, though, and the Benson was extremely low. We were both, like, combined health pool, something like 100. We were extremely squishy. But both of us survived, and I ended up getting the Invasion of Tulagi mission done in this game. Uh, 900,000 credits, 11k XP, a ton of achievements. Overall, a very fun, very tense and close game. And I felt like this game showed just how much of an impact two tier 8 ships can have, just by have using a bit of team play against tier 10s. Because both me and Benson, the Orp data guy, he did, I did compliment him after this game though, he obviously deserved it. Just me and uh, the Benson, not in the division, just two random players, tier 8 against tier 10, but we used something you see so, so rarely in this game, and that's team play. And with the help of this team play, we, will, we were able to hard carry this team to victory. And uh, just a very fun game, and very enjoyable to see. Uh, the Donskoy, he could have used his radar better, but he was greedy to try to kill off the DDs and so forth. So these kind of things, of course, add up, but ultimately a, just a fun game and just shows you if there was more team play in random battles, this game could be a lot more exciting. But sadly, um, what the Benson, the reason I highlighted this is, of course, that this is such a rarity. People very rarely employ team play in random battles because the game doesn't really reward you too well about too well for it. For example, I felt like this uh, Benson should get a lot more XP. He should have gotten a percentage XP based on the damage I was able to deal because I used his smokes to deal so much of the damage. But the game really doesn't reward you for that yet, which is a shame. But ultimately, a very fun game. And looking at uh, the final score, I had to actually take this from a stream since I didn't remember to screenshot it. But uh, 1.7 million potential damage, not too much. But looking at the damage I actually tanked, 116,400. I think this is pretty close to the max you can tank uh, in a ship without dying, or in an Alabama without dying. Like, pretty close to the absolute maximum. So pretty much putting, uh, pushing this ship to its limits. A very fun game though, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did.